five, four, three, two, one. Old school only is go. <laughs> G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a few of my buddies coming up to give me a hand and we're going to mount this body. And from the last video, that wrinkle finish turned out awesome. It's hidden all of the pitting and everything so it just looks like one finish. Worked great. It's a bit like a, a Lego set now, everything's really easy and simple, but the cab's bolted down, the tray's bolted down, I've just got the radiator grill shell just sitting there balancing. But yeah, it's um, fitting good, I've got lots of room on my firewall, I've got lots of room for my pedals and stuff, which is good. The tray looks excellent. The general consensus is though, that we need more patina and... Um, I tend to agree so I'm not going to do another specific video on that but you'll probably see things pop up here and there a few changes and um, we'll distress it a little bit more so speaking of patina the patina process is a process and it's ongoing and as I find things as I look at it I'm gonna be doing little things like I said it's just gonna change as we go what I did do yesterday I polished this section and um, you can see the shine on it and I'm like that looks really really good so I got the buff out and I buffed the whole car it really brought out a lot more natural looking patina and it gave it that gloss but like an old gloss and uh, I'm really liking it now this is the assembly video because I'm putting it together but I want to stick my um, my door logo on so let's get that on it's going to add to the patina look and then we'll get back into putting like radiator and all the other bits and pieces on that we need to do on this video.
that side's done we'll let that dry off a little bit and then we'll um, rub it down because I want it to look like it's been there forever and while I'm waiting for that I'll, uh, I'll do the other side that side's done so I'm going to pop back over this side and just start lightly with a little bit of wax and grease remover you don't want to go too aggressive thinners works okay but you don't want to go too aggressive let's see what happens with this see there but it's starting to come off nicely so I'll just stick with the um, wax and grease and the best part about using a solvent you don't get the scratch marks in it like you would from sandpaper natural texture to the actual lettering as well. Sandpaper will flatten it out where this keeps the brush marks in it. I think we're almost there, just a little bit more. push it into the shadow so we can have a better look at that doesn't look too bad like the rest of the patina I'll um, stare at it for a while and if I don't like something I can adjust it but yeah it doesn't look like it was done today back to assembly huh A shortened radiator um, it's heaps lower than the cow but because this actually sits lower the body sits lower than a 32 because um, it's mounted differently and uh, obviously it's a model a cow with a 32 grill shell the standard grill sits higher than the than the cow so what I've got to do now is trim the grill shell at the bottom so it sits down at the right height so yeah if i ordered a stock height radiator it'd be sitting too high so it's not by much but it's enough to annoy me and if i want to put a bonnet on it'll look completely wrong so we'll chop this down i'll measure it we'll take the appropriate height out of it then we can bolt that radiator onto that shell I'm happy with that. 
grills on. Looks like a car. I'm getting a new windscreen cut, so I'm leaving all that stuff off until that's done. Bet you didn't expect that. I decided I didn't like it, and I'm allowed to. So, I like the service part. I got rid of the spanners, and then that little bit underneath, you can't make out what it says. It gives it a bit of mystery. And I think it looks heaps better. It was just too much, too fake. That could say anything on there now. One thing I don't like is how the sun makes this look so light. It's not that light. <laughs> as soon as it's in the shade, it's not even like the camera just brings out the, the blue. It's more, it's got more green in it than it looks. So the sun's gone down a bit now. It's still just cracking over the top of the houses, but you just don't get the colour. It looks completely different in the flesh. But it's been a good day. I would call that assembled as far as cab, tray, grill, radiator. So that's going to be the end of this video. I've got headers, floor, electrical, alternator, um, wire, yeah, all the wiring. Um, lots of bits and pieces to do. I'm not going to film a lot of it. Um, the next big one I'm going to film will be the interior. I've got some interesting things to do there. But anyway, that's it from me. Stay tuned. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Tell your dog to shut up. And I'll uh, catch you on the next one. Cheers.